Hi guys, how are you? Today we're gonna see the lecture number three that it's called A Problem Occurs. But first of all, we have to put this time in the hands of our Lord. So if you wanna join me, close your eyes. Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us. We put this time in your hands for you to reveal yourself to us. We put uh, every life in your precious hands and we put this time in your hands. In the name of Jesus, who is Christ, amen. We're gonna see three different points. The first one uh, is called everything is lost, okay? The first part we're gonna see uh, that God gave us life when we were in death, okay? So this is an example of how God gave us life. You see this, this, uh, this person, right? And we can see that this person is thirsty. So what does this person need? They don't need anything else but water. Yes, and what does water means in this in this example? The water means life, right? We know that for us to live, we need water. So this means that God, when we were thirsty of Him, when we when we needed life, He gave us that that life. So water means life, and this person is you, and it's me, and it's everyone when we are separated from God. God gives us this life when we need it. Okay, what else do we? can we see in this example we were children of God right we were children of, of uh, that king that made us we already saw that God is the creator right he created us and he created everything but now when we when man um, when man uh, fall, uh, fall in in this scene when he lost everything we became children of whom of Satan this we, we know that we haven't uh, never seen Satan, right? But this is an example of Satan, okay? We are gonna pretend this is Satan. So from uh, we being uh, children of God, then we became children of Satan, okay? We were kings, right? Uh, we were kings. God created us as kings. You remember in the last lecture that God said that we were created to reign over all his creation, right? But then when we, when we became children of Satan, instead of being kings, we became slaves. We became slaves of things that are here on earth, okay? So this is the first point about how God, how man lost everything, yes? We already saw the first point that was called everything is lost now we're gonna see the second point that is the state of man we uh we know that when god created earth the earth was in emptiness it was in disorder and it was in darkness this is the state of man when we are separated from god and here are some examples first we are in emptiness yeah the state of man without god is in emptiness the state of god without uh, the state of man, I'm sorry, in the state of man without God is in disorder. All our life is in disorder, okay? And the state of man without God is also in darkness. These three, these three um, things that we can see here, emptiness, disorder, and, and darkness is how we are when we are not with God, okay? Something that uh, when we are in these states, we are evil. Or all the things that come from our hearts, all the things that we do, all the things that we think, all the things that we, I don't know, we say, they all are bad. Why? Because we are now with God. You know that our heart is something that is really, really, really dangerous. Why? Because you see right here that it looks a heart really happy and really good. But the word of God says that the heart is dangerous. Why? Because the heart is really something that wants us to be separated from God, right? The heart of the man who is not with God, who is far from God, it could, it could look really good. It could look something really, really good, right? But in, instead of that, it's very, very, very dangerous when we are separated from God, okay? So we see that we are evil and our heart wants us to be separated from God, okay? This is the state of man without God. The air, it's 
says in Genesis that when when man became uh, when man separated from God, when man broke that covenant that God gave them, when man lost everything, man the world became um, somewhere where evil reigned, somewhere where uh, all the people that lived there, their hearts were evil. Yeah, as we already saw in the in, in this part, right? Their hearts were evil. And this is something really important because the state of man without God was like this. Man was here and God is here, right? It says God and man. And we are somewhere in places different. Why? Because we are we we are in sin and God is holy, right? And God cannot be with somewhere someone that sins, okay? So this is how we were without God. We were we were in disorder, we were in in emptiness, and we were in darkness. In darkness, yes. The, our heart was it was dangerous because he wanted us to be without God. We were we were all evil. We wanted just to do the bad things, and the earth was full of all the all the bad people yeah and we were separated from God now we're gonna see how the problem began so come with me now we're gonna see how all the problems began when God created man God gave him a covenant what is a covenant a covenant means an agreement between between two or more people with a purpose of being fulfilled God gave man directly this covenant, this, this agreement that he had to fulfill. And the covenant was the next. You may eat from all the trees of the garden, except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat its fruit, you will certainly die. This was a covenant very easy to fulfill. And it was about not eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. This meant that he could eat from all the trees except that one. This was forbidden from God to the man to fulfill. This covenant, as we already said, was easy to keep, and God asked for obedience. This covenant was based on obedience. If the man ob obeyed God, he wasn't going to break this covenant. But then the covenant got broken. How did this covenant got broken? Satan came to the woman and deceived her, telling her that she could eat from the tree of knowledge and evil, which God said already that it was forbidden. The woman didn't know the covenant as she was supposed to know it. So she ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From the tree that God said not to eat from it. This means she didn't believe in the covenant that God gave them. What happened next? This is equal that man and woman already broke the covenant that God gave them. And as they broke it, they got into sin. And as God is holy, he cannot be with sin. So they got separated. God gets separated from, from man. As a result, God... Man got separated from God. For the first part, you have to do a paper where it represents man and a paper that represents God. And then follow all the steps belong.
Okay, guys, so this is our final result. Uh, this means that man got, uh, when they broke the covenant, they got separated from God. Okay, so this is when the problem occurs. This was this lecture, the third lecture. I hope you really understood it and you enjoy the time we were together. Okay, so uh, to end, we're gonna pray. If you, if you wanna join me, closing your eyes. God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this amazing time that you have given us. We put this this lecture in your hands, our minds, our body, or everything that we are in your hands so you can take control of our lives. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus and Mr. Christ. Amen. Okay, guys, so we hope you liked it. And if you want, if you can, uh, comment in the video and send us a picture of your activity. Okay, thank you.